Hi, everybody. I'm not going to be in class today because I do have a doctor's appointment. So um, we're going to go ahead and follow our normal routine. We're going to start with writing and reviewing our learning objective. Remember, uh, your task is to identify the verb in the learning objective and the what the verb is telling you to do. So don't forget you have to title your paper. Uh, week 11, day four, period five, learning objective. Our first learning objective is I will read the two texts, highlight information that is important to me and my community, and use it to choose the candidate I think is best. So one of the first things that I want you to remember is on, yeah, on Tuesday, we did the work of centers in your team's notebook. So you have that piece of information that you can use. You've already reviewed the two candidates. We've reviewed vocabulary that should help you be able to uh, write sentences using specific vocabulary. Uh, and today you're going to get two links. Ms. Chia is going to put those links in the chat to two biography articles on the two candidates. Okay, so I want you to open up those links. I want you to read the article on both, uh, on each candidate, and I want you to take notes on that. Okay, next it says, I will create a candidate flyer using the information from my notes and Tuesday's work to show how they are the best candidate. So I want you to choose one. And that's the one that you're going to show how you, across your notes and your thoughts, um, why you think that particular person is the best candidate. Uh, in, the, in the link, in the chat, I'm sorry, Ms. Chia is going to put these two links for you. And each of these links um, gives you information, one about Donald Trump and one about Joe Biden. I want you to read um, both of the information, and I want you to use the information from your notes and from your paper uh, from last week to prepare a slide, okay? And this is your candidate flyer, um, what it has to have in it. It needs to have an image of your candidate. It needs to have the political party needs to have personal information from your candidate, family information, and important focus issues that that particular candidate um, is running on. Now, the information that's on top, the image, the political party, personal information, all that can be bulleted points, and it could be copy and pasted from the information that's in your team's center assignment and on the articles that I gave you. The last part, which is the important part, this is the, important, the part that I'm gonna grade um, your writing on, is your personal opinion paragraph. This has to be a paragraph. This part cannot be in bullets. So on this part, I want you to tell me why is the person you chose the best candidate? Give me two or three sentences complete sentences on why you think they are the best candidate. And what do you think this person will do for the country and for its people? So this paragraph should be minimum five sentences, okay? And ideally, I'm looking for eight to 10 sentences in this paragraph. Uh, I already explained it to Ms. Chia. If you have any particular questions, she's ready to help you. Uh, what I do want to show you is I want to make sure so there's no um, questions about where you can find your work is I want to show you in our teams where we will find the work from Tuesday, just in case um, you don't remember or you didn't do the work. So once you go into our Teams, you go to the general channel, okay, you go to your class notebook. I'm gonna use Albina's because she's the first one on, on our list. You have to go to the class notes section, 
go to your class notes section. And there you see week 11, day two, center work. Okay. Those of you that are here in class, you have your handout that I gave you uh, that looks like this. You could have filled this handout. Or maybe you did the work, you did your answers right on our notebook here, and your answers are here. Okay. So I want you to review this work. Before you even start on the other articles, I want you to review this work. Look at this part. If you're at, in class, I want you to look at this part. Look at all the information that you wrote there. And I want you to use that information before you read the biographies, okay? Um, and if you have any questions, like I told you, Ms. Chia, I explained it to Ms. Chia, so she's ready to help you. Don't forget that for your learning objectives, you do have to underline the verb and highlight the what about the verb, okay? So if you say, I will read the information in my team's notebook, you would underline the word read and you would highlight information in my notebook. All right, guys, hope you have a great day. I'll miss you. See you tomorrow. Those of you that are in class, I'll see you tomorrow. Those of you at home, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow too. Good luck.